Bitcoin surging above $44,000 for the first time since April of 2022. Trading platform Robinhood disclosing uh, this week that its crypto trading volume up 75% from October to November. Oh. Joining us right now on the set, no less. And we're seeing him here in person. We haven't seen him in a couple of years in person like this. Robinhood co-founder and CEO of Tenev. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me, guys. It's good to be here live. We want to talk about so many different things about the markets, about stocks. Months? But let's let's start crypto because we seventy five percent in a month off off air. We were talking about sort of yep. what's going on with crypto, um, what you're seeing. I mean, that's a, that's a it's a, been a huge move, but it's also in terms of just straight volume, it's a huge situation. What do you think is happening? Um, I think there's a couple of things. Uh, I think a lot of people have forgotten that Robinhood is a major player in the cryptocurrency industry. We do a lot of things. We've obviously done a lot with retirement. We've rolled out 24-hour market for equities. But along this time, we've had a crypto team that's been innovating, that's been building stuff. And our approach with crypto is to make it very clear to customers that they're getting a great deal on their crypto in Robinhood. And so we've done a lot of work clarifying how good our spread is, communicating that to customers. And we've seen our market share grow. Um, and I think that now you're starting to notice it as the overall market is growing. And I think we can talk about what's driving that. Um, there, there's a lot of theories out there. Nobody knows for sure because this is a decentralized asset. But there's optimism around an ETF. Right. There's optimism around uh, the rate environment changing, the Fed stopping the aggressive rate hikes that they've been doing. Right. And there's also uh, this idea that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin uh, are an inflation hedge. How, how, how tied do you think your own value, the value of your business, uh, the earnings of your business are to crypto? I ask because you can see the stock moves as crypto has moved. By the way, Coinbase, Coinbase obviously has really moved as a function of crypto. So how, how big a component part of your business ultimately is the crypto piece? Well, our business is much more diversified right. than uh, sort of the pure crypto companies. So I think uh, we benefit from the crypto markets going up, but also uh, th there are certain things that Robinhood has that crypto companies that are only doing crypto don't. One example is 24-hour market, and we added uh, over 100 new symbols. We're up to over 200 now. And you saw this last Sunday when Bitcoin crossed 40,000. Um, the Twitter was, or X, right. I should say, flooded with Robinhood screenshots because people wanted to compare uh, what's happening with Bitcoin to what's happening with the crypto and blockchain stocks. And Robinhood became the first and really the only place where you can actually not just see overnight trading of these equities, right. but, but actually transact in them. So our screenshot share was quite high. And I think that shows the platform, the power of the platform right. that we're building. What you can do crypto of, and stocks in the same place. What percentage of your, your customers are buying individual names and or crypto versus buying either ETFs or mutual funds or investing in a more uh, staid way, if you will? Yeah, well, we publish this stuff. Uh, I'm sure you all have seen the Robinhood Investor Index where we can track how our customers are doing. We also publish lists of the 100 most popular stocks and investments. We have shared in the past that Bitcoin is actually the most popular recurring investment. So customers that are dollar cost averaging are choosing Bitcoin as a part of their portfolio. But I think um, the question, the, the, the question between ETFs and individual stocks is uh, in some ways the wrong question because Robin had also pioneered fractional shares. So you can invest any dollar amount in any stock ranging from, you know, uh, all the way to right. stocks like Burke Gay, which, right. you, which are hundreds of thousands of dollars per share. So you can create these diversified portfolios using our technology, and you don't need to have an ETF to get that type of diversification. Right. Whereas before we came around, that type of diversification was impossible. You needed a, a brick and mortar entity like an ETF to, to, make, it, to, to make it reasonable for customers. When things really get going, <clears throat> and I'm thinking about the meme stock craze, I, I mean, eventually there's going to be another uh, period of euphoria. 
I guess. Do you think the meme stocks will be different? Do you think it's going to be the same names? Are they ever coming back, do you think? I mean, we, we work hard to be an impartial platform. Um, I don't really have an opinion on, on what stocks are going to go but up or happen down. happen again, won't it? Um, I think the, the market goes through cycles. You're seeing that in crypto. I think you'll see that in stocks as well. Uh, we've been putting a lot of effort in making sure that we're there for customers when they need us, that we add more features. 24-hour market, right. I think, would have been very interesting back in right. 2021, where so much of the activity happens right. overnight and over the weekends. What have you done? You said you, you, you want to be there for customers. What have you done since, since the meme stock, GameStop, phenomenon, we, we all just saw the movie, uh, uh, Dumb Money, um, have you done to protect customers so that that kind of situation could never happen again? Meaning that there was a stock on your platform that couldn't effectively uh, be, be bought? Yeah, we've, we've done a lot. Um, first of all, we've been battle-hardened with our infrastructure to make sure we can handle that, that load. Um, I mean, we've had days back in 2021 where we process 20 million plus trades, 20 billion plus in, in transaction volume. So we've been battle tested in a way that not a lot of consumer financial companies have been. Um, we've got a, a gigantic balance sheet. Um, and we've also invested heavily in education and customer support. And we have a lot more features for customers to support them on the investing journey.